Hello, let's say I want to design a quarter wavelength transformer. We want to uh, match uh, source input to a uh, load input of pure resistance, no reactive uh, resistance. So we already know the uh, relation that the characteristic impedance of the transmission line should be the square root of the input impedance multiplied by the load impedance. Uh, let's take here, for example, <coughs> a power source, port one and port two. Port one represents the uh, input. Uh, let's say Z, the impedance here, let's keep it as 50 ohms. Uh, let's work at a frequency of 10 gigahertz. The output port representing uh, the, uh, which have the output impedance. And let's say the resistance is 2 ohms. Again, frequency 10 gigahertz. Those are not matched for shorts. We have uh, here 50, let's make it two. Okay, and the frequency again to check it's 10 gigahertz. Those are not matched. If we want to check the reflection coefficient, it will not resonate at the 10 gigahertz. So according to the formula that we have seen before, this one, the characteristic impedance of the Transmission line should be square root of 50 times 2 square root of 100. It's gonna be 10. So I'm gonna bring a transmission line Let's choose a uh, transmission line here All right And let's make its impedance to be 10 ohms Purely resistive impedances now regarding the length, if I want to find the length, it should be quarter of a wavelength. I will use this formula. Uh, lambda uh, L is quarter of a wavelength. Lambda, it's C over the frequency. Speed of, let's say, light, which is going to be comparable to 3 times 10 power 8 over 10 times 10 power 9, which is the frequency. Over 4, you will get 7.5 millimeter. So <clears throat> I'm going to choose here the length to be around... 7.5 millimeter now I'm gonna join the input to the transmission line transmission line to the port 2 and let's have a reference the ground so I'm gonna put the ground here ground reference on the other side we want to simulate now, so we go to the simulations, I'm going to put the uh, S parameter, and okay, it's linear, fine, let's start with 1, let's end it with uh, 20, 20 gigahertz, alright, uh, the steps, okay, 119, that's fine. Uh, let's say uh, Okay Let's simulate now and see what we will get We we'll just save uh, a name for it. Let's leave it as it is doesn't matter for now Okay, now we want the output to be in the S11 to be in dB. So let's go back here. Let's insert an equation. And in the equation, uh, I'm gonna write S11 in dB in dB. So it's equal to what? It's equal to dB of S1, comma 1. Okay, that will give me 
the uh, refraction coefficient, the magnitude of refraction coefficient in dB. Okay, let's add it. That's fine. Okay. Now simulation again. Now let me put the S11 in dB and remove those and see what we're going to get. Well, basically not a uh, good graph. Let's check what's the issue here. All right, so this uh, Z input should be 10 again. We haven't changed the value of the characteristic impedance. Again, we said that it's gonna be a radical of 100, which is 10 ohms. Now let's simulate. All right, that's a nice graph. We can see that it almost resonates at one times 10 power 10. Okay, which is 10 times 10 power 9, which is 10 gigahertz. You can see how it's resonating. The magnitude is minus 14 dB. There is a little bit of error for sure because we are rounding the speed of the uh, signal, which is close to the speed of light and so on. But we have matched the input to the output using a quarter wave transformer. 